This is the story of the Red Rock Discovery Trail, 2014. Day one would take us from St. George through Zion National Park and on to Mount Carmel. The day started with a choice of dirt and paved routes, many taking the dirt in the back way into the back way of Zion Canyon. Skip here enjoying his new motorcycle as well as Tim also showed up on a brand new motorcycle. Bill and Scott are just smiling. We gathered up after the dirt section and headed across the back bridge into Zion National Park. The views in Zion are spectacular. Steve saw the need to change his pants in the parking lot. Jeff, meanwhile, was just laughing, and we all headed out on the shuttle bus to see the park, part of this was the park that you can't get by driving yourself to. We had lunch at Zion Lodge, then we got a chance to see rock climbers. Climbing up the faces of the rocks looks like fun, well for others. We gathered up to leave the park and head out through the one-way tunnel. On the other side, we found some mountain sheep just hanging out. The day ended with a stop at Zion Mountain Ranch. Now, out in the middle of nowhere, they have buffalo just hanging out. You can walk up and kind of see and talk to these folks. Kind of fun. Day two would take us into Bryce Canyon. Even before getting to Bryce Canyon, the turf turned to spectacular. This is Red's Canyon on the way up to Bryce. Oh my gosh, you're already excited about it. Jeff was excited. <laughs> so we entered Bryce Canyon and the place is spectacular. It had had snow on it. Steve's going, what's up with that? It is just amazing stuff. The elevation rose from about 8,000 feet to 9,000 feet and we started bumping into lots of peaks with snow and it was quite chilly up there. Um, some of us did have our heated vests and some of us spent some time looking at the views and others were kind of anxious to get back on their bike and get warmed up. After lunch, most of the riders opted for a rougher route. Um, it turns out it started out pretty nice dirt, then some snow started showing up then we crossed some patches of snow. Skip and Jeff are just laughing about it. Then we get the news. No way. Turn around. Skip and Jeff are turning back. So we all headed back on out. And back around on the paved route into the town of Escalani, where we had a gourmet pizza dinner. Next day was the scenic burr trail. So on the way to the Burt Trail, on the way to the town of Boulder, Greg decided he would take some pictures of us, kind of heading down the, the mountainside and across this big set of plateaus. Um, so here we are staged going down the hill. Uh, Greg's, I don't know, quite a ways away. Um, pretty neat stuff, just riding along, enjoying the day. Then we decided to go for a group photo. Got us all together and here we are having our fun. We stopped to have pie before starting on the bird trail and the owner of the restaurant told us of this hidden canyon about 12 miles up. So we decided we would stop and check it out. It turned out to be a narrow crack in the walls, went back a couple hundred yards and it was magical when you got back there. It was tall, quiet, you could hear people, voices talking, um, really neat place. The trail turned to gravel road and the V-Stroms were kind of leading the pack here and then it was down off the grade. Greg got a chance to take photographs of a, some of us way down the hill going along the switchbacks. Neat road down, spectacular views. Um, what a weird place in the world. It's just this big cut down the side of the hill. We stopped at the bottom, kind of take a break and look back up. Um, everyone thoroughly enjoyed it. Final leg of the day was down to Bullfrog Marina. It's kind of paved the rest of the way. A few of us got the opportunity to kind of wave for the camera and the day ended. 
uh, in Bullfrog on Lake Powell. Next day was Bullfrog Marina to Moab. This is the area of big turf. You're way out in the middle of nowhere and Lake Powell defines the whole area. Um, it's miles to anything. We stopped at Height Marina for gas. Uh, Jeff pointing out what Lake Powell looks like there. Then it was on to the Mowgli Dugway grade. Now this place is a big cut off the top of the mountain. You can see the road winding all the way down into the valley there. We're checking it out way off into the distance of where we're going. Bill's still smiling. We're all looking at we're going, we're going where? How are we doing this? Skip is still just happy. Um, great views from up here, um, but everybody was a little bit excited about going down the hill. So off we went, down the hill. No big deal. Everyone did well and had a great time. A little while later, we got to see Wilson Arch, and then we caught our first glimpse of the LaSalle Mountains. But we were headed to Moab for the beer, and so we arrived. The next day, the morning would bring Arches National Park and Capitol Reef in the afternoon. I guess there's over some 2,000 arches within the park, Arches Park. It is amazing how many of these things are eroded and around. And um, here's Bill and Tim looking, looking good for the camera. So it was a relaxing morning of just riding to, through Steve with the what's up with that attitude. And Gordon with his fluorescent yellow look trying to outshine the red rock. About two hours into it, we had seen as many arches as we wanted to see. So we said goodbye to the LaSalle's and arches and headed north to Green River for lunch. After lunch, we stopped in Hanksville and a guy pulls up in a Jeep carrying a assault weapon with, I guess, two magazines in the back. Just part of the Utah culture. Uh, so then it was off to Capitol Reef, uh, another spectacular place. Big buttes all over the place, kind of reminded me in parts of Monument Valley. Uh, but the colors here were a little more mixed. They weren't just completely the red stuff. They were red and yellows and grays and um, all kind of different once again. Nice out and back road into the park. Uh, some beautiful trees sitting around and Scott just stopped here checking things out having a little fun saw some petroglyphs along the way and then it was a lap down the dirt road at the end of the canyon kind of a narrow canyon down here and um, yet another another scenic canyon kind of seen a lot of those by now The day ended at the Chuck Wagon Motel in Torrey, Utah. Place kind of gets a complete thumbs up. Day six had us returning to St. George, Utah, encountering a little snow on the way as part of the fun. And a special ride thanks goes out to Gordon. What a great fun time it was meeting you and riding with you. And Tim, great riding enjoyed meeting you and you did an awesome job turning 62 and getting a national park pass and seth you did an awesome job you way delivered on your street bike and you were very enjoyable i hope you can get more vacations and join us soon and greg once again great riding you did a, you totally delivered great rides and thanks for your help and support and Jeff, thanks for joining us. You made us all laugh. You made the ride fun. And Skip, I got no pictures of you without your helmet on, but I can see the smile underneath the helmet. Thanks for joining us. And Bill, way fun. Enjoyed meeting you, enjoyed riding with you, and enjoyed your stories. And Scott, Enjoyed having you join us, enjoyed you made us laugh at times, and you did a great job writing. Hope you can come back. And Steve, once again, 
good job on writing and you made us all laugh. Hmm, I can't understand why. Um, I sure enjoyed having you around. Okay, GPS Kevin here. Thanks for joining us all. What a fun time. I Thanks for supporting me in these rides. And I'm hoping you all come back and we're looking forward to our next ride.